Hi guys, Jessica here, and uh, welcome to another review video by yours truly. This video, I'm gonna take a look at QuickBooks Self-Employed. It is an app that was released in 2017 in Canada, and uh, its purpose is to help self-employed individuals, and that can take the form of if you have a side hustle, you freelance once in a while, or you're full-time self-employed, and you're looking for some sort of accounting software that's easy to use, that's really cheap, and is you know meant for someone who uses mobile a lot. So I'm going to go through all the features of QuickBooks Self-Employed in this video, so stick around. All right, as you can see, I have already downloaded the QuickBooks Self-Employed app on my phone, and I'm just going to click it right here. Here's the dashboard, what it'll look like once you um, log into the app. And at the top, it'll you know ask you to add a bank account, and I'll get into that in a bit. And right below that is a business report. It basically tracks all of the um, income you have in the app, all of the expenses you put in there to show you how healthy your business is doing, which is obviously very important. And then there's this feature called mileage and it tracks your uh, mileage if you drive a lot for your business. So let's go into expenses. Here's an example receipt I put into the app to show you what it kind of looks like. So um, this is just one for like a, a gym membership that I signed up for. Um, so if I were to click on it and go in there, as you can see, this is kind of what each expense will look like in the app. Um, you can categorize them by business, personal. You can also split the receipt into um, multiple categories if you, know, you have a receipt with a lot of different items on it, which is a really handy feature, I think. And if I were to view that receipt, um, because I did take a photo of it, I'm gonna click here. I'll show you exactly what that receipt looks like. Here it is. Those are my fingers. Um, so I just, you know, I had a paper receipt, so I took a photo. This is really great for if you, in your business, you do have a lot of paper receipts to digitize them, to have a digital archive of them. Um, so you can have them for tax purposes and just so you don't have to, um, you know, have a shoebox full of receipts. All right, so getting back in there, I'm gonna label this as a business and this is a great indicator for me so I can really keep track of what my business and personal expenses are. And then within that, you can actually categorize what this specific receipt is for so that you can keep track of like how much am I spending on advertising or office supplies and stuff like that. Another great feature too is you can um, choose whether you want to add HST or sales tax onto the receipt. So this is really great if you, as a business owner, um, collect sales tax. Um, you definitely want to make note of when you're also paying it for your business expenses. Um, basically, it will help a lesson how much you actually have to pay to the government um, when it comes time to um, pay the HST that you are collecting. So this is a really important feature when um, collecting all that data for all of your business expenses. There's also a really cool feature where you can mark um, similar expenses the same way. So basically, instead of you know duplicating it manually, you can um, make sure to make note in the app that if you import um, any similar transactions, it will take the same information so you don't have to do a bunch more work, which is really great. And as you can see, once you click into it, it shows you all that kind of information. Um, you can even go advanced and uh, see a little bit more information, but it's a pretty cool feature. All right, next, and this is my favorite feature, the add bank account feature. This helps you um, basically import any uh, business expenses that you were making through your bank account or your credit card. It saves you a ton of time and hassle. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like with um, my credit card. I have one with um, Scotiabank and I just can connect my Scotiabank account with the app. And then within seconds, it will import all of my expenses. This is a huge time saver. And so uh, you can look through all of them. And then once all of those expenses are imported, all you really have to do is go into each expense individually in case you wanna make any specific notes, know that there's HST, do any kind of customization if you need to do that and mark them as business expenses or personal expenses. 
Okay, next, there's this really cool feature, um, especially if you drive, so if you're like an Uber driver or whatever, um, this is a way the app can literally track your mileage automatically. It uses the GPS in your phone to do that. Um, it's very easy to set up, and then it just records all of this. Obviously, it's still very important to keep all of your paper receipts when you're getting gas and stuff like that, but in general, this is a really, really handy tool just to kind of minimize all of that hassle. And next we have a very important feature, probably my favorite one um, is the invoicing um, feature. So especially if you're on the go, you can create invoices in minutes on your phone, which is super, super handy. And it makes it very easy. All you have to do is obviously um, add a client. I've kind of made a fake one, that's me. Um, and then you just have to basically put in the details for the invoice. Um, so, you know, what exactly the service you're offering, what you're um, selling going to put financial counseling as an example because that's one of the services I offer. Then you just have to put in uh, what rate, um, what amount you want to charge to that person on the invoice. And you can choose flat rate or hourly. And then you can choose if you want to charge them sales tax as well, which is uh, obviously very important. Then when it all looks good, just press add. And then you can um, do a couple different things. You can obviously review it. Um, you can also set it up so you can uh, add a, a button to the invoice so they can just pay instantly via credit card or Apple Pay, which is very handy, especially if you want to get paid right away. And of course, you can uh, choose to save this uh, invoice as a draft or you can send it instantly through email. So this is actually really good if you want to, you know, T draft a bunch of different invoices and, but you're not ready to send and then you can just keep them and then send them when you're ready. Well, I hope you enjoyed my review on QuickBooks Self-Employed. If you want to take a test drive and see if it's right for you, I highly recommend checking the link in the description of this video because there's a link to uh, sign up for a free 30-day trial. That's kind of the best way to really see if this is something that, you know, works with you, jives with you, something you really like to do it. And then of course, when you're ready, sign on up and start using it. I cannot emphasize enough how important it is to have some sort of accounting software in your life. Trying to do it manually uh, may save you money, but it will not save you time. If anything, it will just make you more frustrated, more disorganized and more stressed out. So. Thanks again for watching this review video. Hope you liked it. I'll see you back here next time for some more videos and uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. All right, thanks again for watching. See ya.